Hey guys, it's Protoge, and honestly, if I could upload more videos, I would, but I was on vacation for the past week to Myrtle Beach, and I'll just say this, I am not much of a beach guy, like, at all, so, uh, yeah, anyways, while I was gone on vacation, they released this, this is the Penwa, look, I, I'm not even gonna attempt to, uh, say that. But all you need to know is this is one of the most insane and coolest cars in GTA Online. It has a Monitech HSW. It's electric rear-wheel drive, actually. Usually electric cars in this game are all-wheel drive. And some of the upgrades on this, they're actually pretty cool. Although there aren't a lot of uh, modifications for this, it's still quite the car. As you can see, it is insanely fast, and I feel like this might be one of the ultimate cars for GTA Online, because oppressors can't lock on to you, it's stupid fast, and it's electric, so it also has some explosion resistance, too. If that oppressor does manage to hit you, you'll still be able to get away. Not to mention the looks, and the fact that this is an HSW car. I mean, it just might be the perfect car. Now, they did add a few other HSW cars. I'm actually going to go show you another one, which I was contemplating making a video on, but I decided not to because of one thing, which is actually really interesting, and I'll explain a little more about it. So, so this, you know how if my garage is organized and stuff. This is my HSW garage. And, um, yeah, you can see we have a new addition this is the monstrosity and this should be the ultimate car in gta online because it's an off-road vehicle as an hsw modification and the windows this is an m16 by the way five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it takes 11 bullets from an M16 to break the window. And on the 16th bullet, it puts a hole in it. And that's for all the windows, too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 cracks it. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pierces. And same here. That's on the windshield. You can see there it even cracks it. And that's even on the back too. Look. 12 bullets. But there is one issue now. You think that the bulletproof windows are good and stuff, but you can't actually shoot out of this thing. Which is a huge problem. It does have super resistant windows though. So if you want to do missions and stuff, the monstrosity is the car for you. But in combat, it might not be too useful. Like the um, Penwad, it does have an HSW upgrade and a Bonnie Tech as well with the missile lock on jammer. But you can't shoot out of it. They also added the Itali uh, GTO Stinger, which is the same thing except as armor. Um, as a Money Tech, HSW, and Arbor, and same goes with the Buffalo EVX they added as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will bring those up right now. <clears throat> These two. This has, um, the Money Tech and armor plating. I'll show that too. But it doesn't have armored windows, and it's the same story for this as well. And also the- And yes, I did get GTA Plus, because it's like six bucks to get a bunch of stuff. Like, there's a bunch of cars you drive. I mean, it might only be for a month, but... How often do I play this game anyways? And you get a free car as well. I really just got it so I can get this thing for free. You can literally claim this thing with an HSW upgrade and a ton of modifications already on it. I saved, like, over $2 million. But, yeah, this thing is just... I don't even know. It's an insane car, it's a great car, it's a kind of a useful car actually. I think this thing would be nice in racing. It's a sports car and it's an electric car, so around tighter circuits, this will fare very well. But on like more open circuits, it'll top out quickly. But it does have a toss of like, what is it, 151 or something? It kind of hits like a little electric boost sometimes. 
But like every little bump it takes, it goes like 10 miles an hour faster. And that is why I typically do not drive in first person. Why are people shooting at me? I don't know. I'm gonna try and get to the highway so I can actually do a top speed run. Maybe I should try and get up to the top speed, then I can um switch into first person. Alright, I guess I'll just go first person now. Because I can actually see and out. I hate the NPCs in this game, dude. <laughs> so let's see here. We're at 110, little bump up to 113. Really toss speed 116? Really, dude? But I know this thing has a little more, right? Whoa. That was weird. Only 120? I, I swear I got this thing up to 150. I know I got this thing to 150. Come on. There you go, 136, 37. Its natural top speed is like around 130, but then it like decelerates. I got, I know I got this thing up to 150. I guess it only really buffs the acceleration. This thing has an HS leg upgrade in it too. I'll even go into the LS car meet to try the HSW. Real quick, so don't get copyright claimed. Um, settings, audio. Music down. Now we're gonna head into the LS car meet, and uh, I know that I got this thing maxed out. Did I? Did I get this thing maxed out? I I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. So overall, this thing is a really really great car to have, and if you have GTA Plus, you should just get it because it is a crazy vehicle and it's super cool too. Plus, with the buffs and bonuses you can get on this car, I'd say it's pretty good. If you go to the engine, as the HSW engine tune, that buffs the acceleration. And then we have the mode. Well, we have the mode. That's... That's the race plus mode. I don't understand. Something else we could do. Is the engine. There's only just engine and mode. That's it. But still, this thing is a really good car. It's made more for cornering compared to top speed. But still, if you have to go into tight areas, definitely buy this car. It's 110% worth it.